Hello. So this might look a little weird because what I am doing is something normally red does. Uh, because what you were looking at, it, oh, you know what? I guess the spring follower goal is done because uh, it no longer spring. So we will adjust that for later. Uh, May, June, bit goal we can leave, but I'm going to shut it off for right now um, because it's obscuring the view. Oh, darn it. There we go. Leave up the alert box just because it's an alert box. What am I going to do? So what this is, is I'm going to be digibashing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, digibashing uh, comes from kit bashing. That's when you would take models and adjust them and change them uh, to be not the model it's supposed to be. You know, I'm going to get us out of the infinity mode here. There we go. Um, so now I can't see myself, but that's fine. Um, you can see my windows. I'm using uh, the new image manipulation program, better known as GIMP. Uh, one moment as I check a thing. So, what's the extras page? This is the extras page. I have nothing on here. I'm just doing this so you guys don't see my display for a second. Uh... Oh, of course I would start a stream the exact moment Wooper does. So, sorry, Whoop. Uh, we won't be watching each other's streams today, apparently. So, what I am doing right now, um, I'm going to pull down a separate window just so y'all don't need to see what I was doing earlier. I mean, it's not a big issue that you see it. Uh, this is my background. I use tabs for a cause, which lets you put all your uh, stuff right here. It's very nice. And let's change backgrounds. So I have this cool magic art. It's uh, Kozilek and Ulamog. Anyway, uh, we're going to the TF Wiki. Now, TF Wiki is a wiki, obviously. Uh, and the reason we're here is we are doing something for Red. And we are going to get um, some art of Shockwave. And it works better if I go to the right thing. So we're going to scroll down here, do this. Why is a line shock with, oh, fall of Cybertron? That might work better. Um, darn it. All right, new plan. Transformers Prime. Uh, we don't want prime time. We want the Transformers Prime cartoon. Very good. Um, and we want cast. And we want... Yeah, Shockwave, there he is. I knew there was a Shockwave in that. He's under War for Cybertron, not Fall of Cybertron. That's on me. I should have double-checked. We're going to scroll through here. We are going to find a piece of art. Because that's what we're here for, is a piece of art. And uh, kit bashing, or sorry, digi bashing, is not going to make something that looks great. Do you have a camera? Yes, I do. Okay. Everyone can see you. Hello. <laughs> Um, I mean, it is if they want people to see them. I can't see the chat right now, so y'all could be going nuts in there, and I wouldn't even know. Uh, let's see. Who has the best figure for this? I, I want to say Beast Hunters has the best chest for what I'm looking for. Um, I don't want any of this crap over here, though. So we're going to go back a step. Oh, Shockwave's Lab, which gives us a redeco. Fantastic. So we are going to copy this image, and we're going to go over here. We're going to make a new canvas. Uh, and I'm actually going to make this canvas a little, a little big, I think. Uh, I want to do like a 10-inch, maybe 
you know, let's go 12 by 8. I, I know that's not perfect. We'll adjust it later. Uh, and I'm going to paste that picture. There we go. That actually fit in really well. Uh, I don't like this random blurry thing here now that I look at it, though. So, I'm going to delete that layer. Delete it. Um, hmm. Like, I wish we had different art of this particular one. That's not going to help us. Um, hmm. Bloop. All right. We're going to look at some other shockwaves. Because what we're doing is we want to make Senator Shockwave. Which is not a character that people normally see. Um, and we want to make what a toy of him would look like. I have a feeling that that's going to be easier said than done. In fact, let me shorten this window a little bit. Hey, Seabury, I can see you all now. Uh, we're going to shorten this window so you all can see it. Uh, mm. I do like this look. I like this look a lot. My concern is the gun hand. I want to get rid of the gun hand. Because when he was a senator, he did not have a gun hand. So that gets in the way. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice, but that's not going to work for what we're doing. Masterpiece Shockwave looks fat. Hello, you. So what we need is some good art of Defense Officer Laser Wave. Mm -hmm. H my nose. Shockwave and Cancer. There is license music coming in from the other room. Huh. Anyway, uh, all right. Shockwave has had a lot of makeovers. Uh, okay, let's go with Energon Shock Blast and see if he has a good toy we can. He has had one toy. Well, sh oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a laser wave? Oh, no, 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 because that's just the Japanese version of him. Um, so Shockwave's body is not going to help us here. Do I want him to look like Shockwave? Yes. But that's not going to get us where we need to be. Because we're trying to make Senator Shockwave. So, to give y'all an idea of what we're dealing with here, as I sniffle slightly, uh, we want to make this ver- whoa. Let's, uh, scale that. Boop. We want to make this version of Shockwave. And, like, your first instinct is go with a Starscream body. It's not going to quite get us there either. I I think the War for Cybertron line is still where we're going to find what we want. Um, we're going to go to a line continuity family. And we are going to go to War for Cybertron... Uh, here we go. Hmm. Mm. Okay, no. Most of the toys was in Fall of Cybertron, so I was right. Uh, with my original concept. So there was a shockwave. And that shockwave is here. And actually, this might get us where we want to go. So I'm going to not link address. I'm going to copy that link. I'm going to paste it to a new layer. We're going to scale this one up. We're going to reset that so that it doesn't go out of sync there. Uh, no, we're going to keep it tiny. Um... <clears throat> Uh, this one actually could work, too. Like now that I'm looking at it, it's a tiny toy. 
is my biggest concern. So in fact, let me go up to this one. Can I get a more high res picture? I can. Fantastic. To new layer. There we go. That is so, okay, so first off, this layer is just gonna die, it's gone. Actually, you know what? I think this is the one we're gonna wanna go with. Now, a couple of things we're gonna need to change. One, we need to get in here and make that an Autobot symbol, this right here. We're gonna need to change this head. The head's gonna be the more difficult part. Because we need to make him look like this. So we need a guy with a cool Gundam-y looking head. I, let's find out if there was a, a prowl from this line wouldn't quite work. I'm tempted to say War for Cybertron. Was there a Ratchet? There was a Grimlock, but that's not what we're looking for either. We will check Magnus. Magnus sometimes has good heads. Um, now that was technically from the from the Prime line. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to the first line or second line? Second line. Uh, and we who's Fallback? We're gonna look at a couple other pictures just for completion's sake. Hmm. Let's go with Magnus. So we have this version of Magnus. The face is almost there, but that's not quite what we're looking for. Oh, that's right. Fallback is the um, not knockdown. All right. What about you, Tailgate? Tailgate is the not cliff jumper. Ratchet's toy could work, arguably. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down this way. We're gonna keep it big. Uh, also, if you haven't noticed, if you've ever been to the TF Wiki before, they write funny shit on a lot of their stuff. It's very enjoyable. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to do some extensive recoloring, but I think this is the best we're going to get. So we're going to copy this image too. We're going to paste. We're going to paste it to a new layer. We're going to move it up this way a little bit. Move the layer up this way. Um... I don't know what's going on right now. With that, there is a level of knife-handedness going on, yes. Admittedly. Why are you not letting me move this? Did it get locked? Oh, that's why, because I had clicked the selection tool on, and it was yelling at me that you don't have a selection. Yeah, I don't have a selection. All right, so now everything we're going to be doing is in GIMP. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit. And I lied, we're going to zoom out a little bit. We're going to look at this guy. So we need red, white, and blue. We're going very patriotic. And the first thing I would do... His front window is clearly a light blue here. So we're going to take this. We're going to go here. We are just going to carefully, carefully, carefully. And I say that, and watch, we're not going to be very careful at all. We're going to go around the outside of this pink window with our lasso tool. And I already messed it up. 
That's okay. We're gonna go through and fix our selections a little bit later with the subtraction lasso, which is the same tool while holding down the control key on the keyboard. And you can do this for a lot of things. Uh, I did this for some mock-ups of some stuff. I did this to make some stuff for my students, just for funsies. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna take this guy off right there, and then we're going to go here. And add that back in, very good. And we're actually gonna go here. Now shift adds on. Uh, and control takes off. So where we overlapped just now, uh, you're going to see a couple of things come off. There we go. Uh, and that's going to be close enough for government work. So now we're going to go up here to colors and we're going to go to colorize. I'm going to go to colorize. We're on the wrong layer. Colorize. There we go. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring up the lightness. I want to bring down some of that saturation, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See so here, what if we up the saturation? And... Nope, that's black. That's white. You want to be careful with this. It's not quite gray. It's not quite vibrant blue either. So I think just a little bit beneath, maybe a 45. All right. I think we're actually going to want to go more into the blue side of things, and I really like that. So now we're going to select none. And so far, here's where we are. That has been turned blue. Now, I know what you're thinking. Actually, I don't, because I'm not psychic. But what we're going to do is go over here to where his uh, window ends up in vehicle mode. And we're going to do something very, very similar. So there is a shortcut that took me a while to find out. I'm sorry, I still I haven't had a chance to work on the adding music thing yet, other than just turn on some music while I'm doing stuff and have it come in through the speakers. And yes, I realize I'm going a little wide here. We're going to be removing a lot of this. And you only need to press uh, control for the first uh, click. Uh, that's another thing I was not aware of until I had started doing this more often. And we're going to take off the purple lip here. And as for why I'm going way down here, that's because once you're out of the border, you don't need to worry so much. So now we're going to go to colors, we're going to go to colorize. We're going to go down to here and click this top one. And that's the exact settings we used last time. So now those match. Ha ha ha. Alrighty, uh, we're not going to worry about the back details so much. In fact, what I'm going to do right now, even though many people would consider this a dumb idea, we're going to take these guns. We're just going to delete them. They're gone. Um, and, like, we're going to kill that, so it'll just be the background behind them later. And we're just going to remove the detailing stuff. We don't need that for what we're doing. And that also gives us a nice little hidey hole that uh, Senator Shockwave can peek out through. Hello! Anyway, we're being... I'm a dork. You should know this by now. You're following my channel. Got this up like 
four years ago in a movie theater, and I still love it. All right. Um, next up, let's actually take care of the head now. What we're going to do first uh, with the head, we're going to go here. We're just going to remove everything from that side. Because it is not needed for what we are doing. And it will not let me delete that. Why won't you let me delete that? Hmm. New plan. No? Oh, I locked it. That's why. Heh. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we have unlocked the lair. Because I am not that bright. I locked the lair. But it's unlocked now, and now I can do stuff to it. So now we're going to move Ratchet this way, and we want them to be about the same height. I think they're almost there, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to make Ratchet a little bigger. Like, just a smidgen. Fill him up. There we go. Alright. And now we are going to use our lasso tool. We go over here to Ratchet's head. We go like this. We are going to cut off Ratchet's head. Which is something that I imagine if Red heard me would be a little bit more concerned about. But I'm fairly certain that Red is watching stuff on the television. And it's probably not the stream. But I'm not hearing an echo of myself. Red is watching the stream, and I was wrong. Red is just using headphones like a smart person. Because that is how the red do. Now this time we're not cutting, we are pasting. And now here's just... Ratchet's disembodied head. I'm gonna take it right over here. Boop! Yep. I'm actually going to duplicate this layer and kill that one. We're going to go to this layer. We're going to erase most of Shockwave's head. We actually don't need to do... Whoa! Get rid of Ratchet's head in the process. Uh, we're going to erase Shockwave's head here. We're un ing him. For those of you who don't read the comics, Emperada is when you have done something terrible in Transformers society, and they've decided that you need to lose your head over it. So we have unemperated shockwave. Okay. And now we have a small problem in that he doesn't have a neck. He has no neck shockwave. So we're going to do this. You're actually going to bring our brush size way the fuck down. Now, if you're a child watching this, I said way the heck down. I did not swear that would be wrong. There we go. Now he has a neck. He has a strong neck. Alrighty, so now we're going to look up here. Okay, so this part all needs to be blue on the outside. And this part black. So black's easier, so we're going to deal with black first. I'm going to go up to the ratchet head layer. And it's not going to be exactly right, but as Red mentioned to me about 10 minutes before we started this stream, it seems like every new artist, they change how Senator Shockwave looks. So I am the new artist, and I am changing how Senator Shockwave looks. Bring that down. Bring that... Uh, ooh, actually, no. Wrong direction. We want to bring that down. And that up to about there. Okay. 
So, well, because what we're trying to do here is Digibash, and I don't want to make a head from scratch. I really don't want to make a head from scratch. Making a head from scratch is bullshit. So, we are taking Prime Ratchet's head. We're going to use that as the new head. We're going to use that to create, one, the illusion of a younger Ratchet. But two, to also create the pre Emperata Shockwave, which is what we really wanted anyway. Now, a side effect of this is we're actually going to use the Colorize function twice on this. One, to desaturate everything and just get everything like a blank. More or less, we're kind of bleaching him. And then we're going to do the actual making him blue. Uh, it's kind of like dyeing your hair. If you have dark colored hair, you need to bleach it first. At least that was my understanding years ago when my sister tried to dye her hair. She has light colored hair. Uh, she wanted to go pink. I find it very funny that I'm typically the more rebellious one, and she's the one who want had pink hair for a while. Then again, for me, Rebellion was playing Dungeons and Dragons with the other church kids, so... Make of that what you will. I'm used to doing that myself! How did you do it? Uh... Now I'm concerned. All right, so we're gonna use our colorize function here. I mean, don't most things? All right, so we're gonna desaturate everything, crank up the lightness first, and then we're going to go in with a colorize again. We're going to go into a darker blue. So we're gonna crank up the saturation and pull down the light. And then you just kind of fiddle with it till you get to right about where you want. Now this brings up the question of why didn't we go with Ultra Magnus? Uh, it's because his head is the wrong shape, even if it's already in the right colors. I think Ratchet had a much closer head shape to what we wanted. Now we are admittedly making a Transformers Prime-ish version. So this isn't going to be exactly like our former Senator. However, it's going to give us what I assume will be the desired effect. And yes, it's going to clearly look photoshopped. Uh, but that's kind of what we're going for as well. That's kind of an aesthetic choice you do with the Digibash. To point out that you're not a real kit basher. So first we're going to colorize. We're going to go down to this one because that was our white. And then we're going to colorize again. We're going to go to this one because this was our blue. And now we are done with the head, for the most part. Uh, we might adjust it a little bit later. But uh, there's our head for Senator Shockwave. I think it does the job. It does the job. All right. Now, as for our wings, the wings on traditional Shockwave are purple with silver. And here they seem to be blue with white. Now, the easier job here would be leave the silver as silver and then swap out the purple for blue. Um, no, I have not zoomed in on anyone's pixelated junk. I could, because that'll make people very uncomfortable, see? Just zoom right in there on the shot crotch. But we're going to pull back. We'll deal with the shot crotch later. Um... So, like, the smarter choice here, or rather the easier choice, is to make the silver uh, into white, but I'm actually going to go the dumb way, 
because that'll make him a bit more comic accurate. We're nowhere going to get near comic accurate. They've never made a toy that looks like Senator Shockwave, to my knowledge. Uh, and it, I'm going to watch. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to find out they did. And I did all of this for nothing. But uh, we, I'm going to do the silver into blue. We're going to make it that dark blue we made his head, because that seems to be the blue that his wings have. And then we're going to desaturate the wings. And I'm going to be honest, the two hardest colors to adjust to when digibashing are white and black. Uh, it's why you will normally see like a lot of gaudy yellows and blues, a lot of late 80s, early 90s Transformers colors, because those are easier when digibashing. It is so much easier to go neon. Um, let me see here. Hey, Senator, can I see your crotch? Okay, that's in white. So we're going to save that for when we do the white parts. Um, while we're at it... No, no, I'm going to do this part separately. Now that I'm considering it. Uh, we'll do the blue here in another go. And in fact, I think I'm just going to make the blue on his chest this part here. It won't be perfect, but it'll do the job. Alright, so colorizing... And since this one's starting at silver, I don't want to go back to... Hmm. Oh, it's looking for it on the head layer. That's not correct. Okay, here we go. No, that just made them silverier. There we are. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting to the point of Shockwave being the senator we know and hate. Hmm. Generic frozen $1 fruit punch. Nothing better. We're quenching that thirst you feel inside. Alright, so now we're going to go here. Yeah, I should really see Deadpool 2 one of these days. My ADHD is a little bit in overdrive right now, and part of that is I woke up to some anxiety riddling things today, and I originally wasn't well, I was originally going to stream. I was going to stream magic today. Uh, and then what happened this morning just kind of took that out of me. And actually, I'm considering it. I think we should leave the Decepticon insignia. Because Senator Shockwave, in the comics, was a Decepticon sympathizer. And that's why they replaced his head. Uh-oh. No, 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 Fudge. Well, now, thankfully, we're in a computer. I can just do that. All right. Boop. And we're going to go down this way. I'm going to go over here. Down to here. Yes. How oh, can I help you? Or are you just watching? Watching. Okay. Oh, because I mean... It's... It's Shockwave. And, and Prime Ratchet. That makes Senator Shockwave. Oh. It's like a... Fusion Digivolution. So if you haven't figured it out by now, red is robosexual. <laughs> you can shut your freaking mouth. You're such a jerk. A little bit. I'm actually gonna lighten that a bit more. Uh, okay. Not wrong though. Can't watch this. Because every time I look at it, I'm like, mm, nope. You're not. You're not enjoying this. Are you enjoying this too much? I don't, I don't know what it is about Transformers. It's just their weird body proportions are like... They hit the same nerves for you that uh, Turians do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Just your reaction of, oh, God, Turians. Uh, I can't blame you entirely. Because, I mean... Bird waifu? Oh, not just bird waifu. <laughs> Which is our name for Vetra. Yes. Uh, but also, yeah. the fact that I am a subscriber to the uh, 
Monster Musume subreddit. Oh, yeah. So, again, I can't fully judge you on this. Yeah. I mean, I can, but it'd be mildly hypocritical. <laughs> um, We've already established I'm shameless, and if aliens appear in our lifetime, I'm gonna fuck one. <laughs> and, like, I'm gonna say this, and Mikkel's gonna get embarrassed and curl up into a ball on the couch. Uh, She's not watching. Oh, fantastic. No, she'll sense it through the force. <laughs> uh, Mikella can't even judge us with the sheer amount of... Alright, so, Mikella and I own a lot of books. Yeah. Both of our books contain a lot of monsters. Yeah, Mikella's... Mikella's books are romance novels. <laughs> yeah, they are! They spilled out in my bookcase. Uh, my, uh, my books have a lot of monsters, too, but they are not romance novels. They are typically monster manuals. Yeah. Um... Which is not a bad thing. Especially since I want to start doing... <laughs> since I want to start doing D&D streams. through the force! <laughs> no, I am... It's overhearing. Uh, what did I do? You have a lot of romance novels. Yes, yes I do. I have probably way too much. Some of them with werewolves in them. And some of them with vampires, and then some of them with magic users. So what? So you can't judge Red and I about the whole monster girl thing. Why would I want to... I know, I was just mentioning it. Excuse you, it's monster people. I'm attracted to everybody. <laughs> Apparently, I've taken that way too far. You have. I'm, I'm essentially Captain Jack Harkness. No, 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 who was the one that was, like, his buddy? John something. That's it. That's who you are. Oh, God, and he's played by Spike's actor, which is just not at all helpful, because I had the biggest crush on Spike when I was growing up in high school. Uh-huh. Yeah. God, Angel was a dick. Anyway, bye guys! <laughs> there we go. In fact, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cover up that screw hole real quick. There we go. Because the screw hole is a little harder to cover up in purple. But it's... Oh shit, it's over there. Meaning, I am out of bounds. Here. Uh, so, let's do this, because we're trying to create the illusion that this is a real transformer, after all. Now, sadly, that means giving it more pain apps than Hasbro ever would, but it's doing the job. I think it's doing the job. Um, okay, so, now... We are going to go the other way. Actually, he needs to have some red. I think the red's going to be right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So we are going to do some red first, which is very confusing in this house. Because we play magic, and one of us is named red. So anytime we say we're going to do some red, it gets weird. Are you talking magic? Are you talking... I don't know. Something weird about your roommate. Who even knows anymore? Oop. Thank you, Nightbot, for at least keeping the chat relatively active. Yeah, so this is the part we're going to color in red. And actually, I'm looking at it. We're going to come back and fix the rest of him later. Uh, it's a little bit more viable. There we go. Uh, I think that'll do it. Oh, 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 no, no, because that's on an upper layer. So that won't get affected. So we're good there. All right, so now we're going to colorize, and we're actually going to drag the hue way over this way. Good. I'm going to crank up the saturation a little bit. And I think pull down the light. Ooh, other way around, actually. Let's pull up the lightness and pull down the saturation. Let's see here. 
That looks like a good Optimus Prime raid. Let's look over here. Mm, saturation could be a little higher. Uh, lightness could go a little higher. Like, not there, that's white. Yeah, yeah, because that looks like the red plastic Hasbro uses. Uh, there was another place he was red. Yes, yes there was. That's under here. So we're going to grab our grabber. Okay. So his little hips here, we need to do as well. I think we're just going to do like... Should we just do everything? Yeah, it looks like we should just do it. He has some black here, but if this was really Hasbro, they would never bother with that. Um, so, and do this. Go like this. And yeah, I realize we're not going back to the blue for a while. Because uh, I want to finish the red. I think finishing the red is going to do a lot more for making this shockwave look more like what we want him to look like. And then that part of his crotch there is going to be the blue. This becomes blue, and then this becomes white. All right. Uh, let's colorize that. Not the one we wanted. There it is. Okay, now we have a new problem. That Decepticon symbol needs to be purple. How are we going to solve that? Simple. We're going to go down here. Do the layer beneath it. We're going to get our lasso tool. Gonna go right around the edges. Don't worry, we, we aren't doing as pixelated junk quite yet. I think it's a good red color. I think it looks very optimacy, which is what we want. Push that to a new layer, drag that to there, and we're gonna put that there and there. Now he has his little Decepticon symbol. Okay, Ugh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, while we're here, let's finish up his torso here. Um, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. We're just gonna kind of lock off this and colorize that to the red as well. Oh, no, 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 cancel that because we're on the wrong layer. Colorize. And there we go. And select none. And yes, this is a lot more red than the original one had, but we're working within the confines of the toy, and I think it works for what we're doing. And yes, we're gonna have to go through and paint a few places that we missed later. Of course, this already is going to have more paint than a Hasbro toy ever would, but Hasbro still makes fun toys. I mean, I'm not going to stop buying Transformers anytime soon. So, and who knows? They might surprise us in the near future.
with uh, something fun and new. There's that Transformers card game coming out that, from what I hear, is made by people who have worked on Transformers and people who have worked on Magic. And that makes me happy to hear. Alrighty, so we have this going now. That's good. Um, I think we need to do his shoulder pauldrons now. Oh, crap. There we go. I'm gonna drag. Yeah, so this whole thing here is gonna be blue. Admittedly, this is going to be difficult. Um, but we're going to worry about that later. That is future Robert's problem. That is like 20 minutes from now Robert's problem. I'm going to hate that guy in a few minutes, but that's a... I'm going to hate now Robert in a few minutes, rather. I'm going to become 20 minutes from now Robert. That's how that works. What am I doing? Don't, don't do what I just did. All right because clearly the right answer is just going around the whole edge. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I see another chunk of purple that we're going to have to make white later. Uh, so in a moment, we will fix that. All right. That got basically everything. We are going to take off that chunk and that chunk, that chunk, this one pixel. Great. And we're going to go down here. We're going to actually take out this white part. Because since we're not dealing with turning multiple colors into one color like we did with the ratchet head, we're just going to convert everything we have selected into that blue, that nice dark blue we used for the head. But side effect of that is we have to take the white out. Okay, got that going now. Getting there, we're getting there. Okay, now let's do his other shoulder. On this shoulder, it's actually a little bit easier to take the white out of it because you just kind of go around the white due to the angle of the picture. And then I think I'm going to submit this to the Digibashing Tumblr later and see what they think. They have some really clever ones on there, uh, a lot of them from Speed Freak. Speed Freak does a lot of clever stuff, like turning uh, Cheetor from Beast Wars into Chester Cheetah, which sounds dumb, and it was, but I love it. Let's face it, this is Transformers, the fandom where uh, the Lunchable Kids Club is canonically an ally of Optimus Prime, so... Make of that what you will. <laughs> so. 
So part of Transformers compared to other continuity sh heavy shows is that in Transformers, partially due to the Japanese shows causing this and the American fans just going nuts with it, everything is continuity. If it has ever had a Transformer in it, it is continuity. Uh, and that includes some Lunchables commercials. Uh, I want to say, like, the Star Wars ones are canon. But the way they're canon is that there is a multiverse. And it's all canon in some part of the multiverse. But they have a system for detailing out what the planet names are. And it's not just an arbitrary numbering like DC and Marvel use, they have like this really harsh system uh, that is based on original publication date. Um, so mind you, if you see a world name, you can literally find out the day it was first published by the name of the world, which I think is really cool personally. Uh, all right, so we want our color eyes again. We want the blue one. There it is. Oh man, look at him. He is really coming together. I'm happy with this so far. Uh, it is not perfect yet by any means. But we are getting somewhere. Now, one thing you may notice is that... Whoa, come back. Uh, we do not have a left arm for this guy. So... We're actually going to mutilate Ratchet a little bit. Um, at least that's the idea. That's my current planning. Is that I am going to... Mute, mutilate Ratchet. Take out this wheel, which that's going to be the hardest part. And then put that arm there with some rotation. Um, which is going to be very difficult to rectify with the cannon. Now, the alternative here is we just leave the cannon and we go with the idea that Transformers can change their arms. Which, I suppose, is also fine. Uh, something I'm noticing now is that the head up here... Whoa! Hi, Shockwave. What did I do to you? Okay. So when that's gone, that'll be looking better. Alright. Uh, though I'll admit, I kind of like him with the little horns. Alright. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking... Right here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And basically, this is just a quick pick method. Uh, we're using the magic wand. Grab everything that the computer believes is what we want. Um, because in all honesty, I really messed that up earlier and this should this is not at all the right blue so first things first we are going to recolorize this to there much better uh then we're actually going to take this oh nope 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 and we are going to use our, whoop, here we go. We're going to use our lasso tool again. We're going to use it to grab this eye. And eyes are tricky. SK Rocka Rocka. Um, 
I only said on the off chance my sister was watching this that she would get that stuck in her head. We're going to colorize these, and we're going to bring down the lightness, bring that closer to the green, bring up the saturation. And that actually looks terrible, uh, because we're going to undo that. I need to add, like, two more pixels there. And two. Give me that other pixel. There we go. Now we're going to colorize by that one. And now we're going to select none. That looks much better. That's a huge improvement. All right, so for the arm, we're going to cheat a little bit, and we're going to go with the Transformers can turn their arms into guns mentality. Because it's kind of the only way we're getting out of this. Um, now we are making this as if Hasbro made it, so we're going to need to do a couple of things here. Uh, actually, first thing we should do, that's white. We should make these parts white before we do anything else. So we're going to take from under here, we're making the most patriotic robot this side of Optimus Prime or Maxter Gundam. And I recognize that. All right. And we're going to go over here. Boop, boop. Well, you know, 4th of July is coming up. That makes this robot very fitting, I feel. Now, uh, one thing you may notice is that white plastic is actually very, very rare in toy making. And that's because white plastic tends to be a little weaker than other plastics, except for metallics. Um, and I'm not 100% sure why that is. I just know it's the case. That one white? White? No. We're we in the wrong layer again? Yeah. Yeah, we are. White? Nope, that's dark blue. Actually, while we're up here, uh, let's also do that one little piece of plastic that escaped from the back wing. There we go. Colorize that too. Do the same color white. Okay, select none. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Mm, we're actually going to move his head slightly more this way. Yes. Uh, oh, that was the other thing I was going to do to him right here. Is I'm going to erase a little bit of his head there. Much better, much better, much better. Okay. So Senator Shockwave's coming together very nicely, I think. Uh... Okay, let's go back to the layer we're working on. And let's actually modify the arms. I think what we're actually going to do is going to be not quite as fancy as the art shows us for this arm. For this arm, I'm going to go through over here. And we're going to kind of cheat a little because Hasbro wouldn't actually use all that paint, you see. I mean, they'd use a little bit for detailing, which we're going to keep in mind. A little details? Oh, we've already done so much that if this was a Takara Tomy toy, it might have it. Actually, I think, that, I think that's cyclical. Like, Takara Tomy is sometimes worse about paint than Hasbro. Uh, Hasbro's had a hip problem lately, uh, but you know what? They've had some really innovative designs, and I think the fans, myself included, honestly, have really appreciated that. So we're 
we're going to add that part and we're going to add right here and Oop. all right now we're actually going to take some of that off because i went way too far out don't do that don't be that guy i am currently that guy Uh, yeah, yeah, that, uh, we'll cut off that part there. All right. So now we're going to try, whoop, wrong one. That's color balance. We're going to try colorizing into the dark blue. That's the green we used for the eye. Um, that actually came out okay. That comes out okay, okay. So that's going to be blue. Now for the next part. If I remember correctly, he does actually have red on the back of those. So we're actually going to do this in two steps. I don't know why. My brain is going to like weird jokes from old cartoons I never even watched. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking about it. Let's take off this whole chunk. Okay. This part we're going to colorize. We're going to make it white. See, here's where we're running into a problem. Going in from black to white is dang near impossible. Also, I forgot to take out the handhole. So, like, we can't really pull off the white very well. It's not going to look right coming from the black. Coming from the purple, it did okay. So what we're actually going to do is make it the same blue, even though that's not accurate to the picture. We're making what concessions we have to here. But then this whole chunk, we are going to make... A easier to add color is namely the red from the body and we're gonna go to colorize and we are going to add the red from earlier and there we go actually that's looking really good so far I'm happy with this over on this side we're gonna have a similar problem and that purple is gonna be an issue yeah, that purple's going to be an issue. Uh, unless we find another robot we can steal the arm off of and then swap out that arm. Then the transformation doesn't work, which is its own issue. Uh, I say we leave the silver. I like the silver. Uh, let's do this. Can't do this for everything. Gives you way too much select. Whoopsie, right there. Way too much selected. But you can get away with it a little bit. Ah, uh, except there's a lot of spots there. All right, new plan. And then we're going to kind of go around here, I'd say. Yep. 
Yeah, this part's not going to be perfect. Uh, in fact, while we're at it, let's wrap this off of the vehicle mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very good. And yes. You'd think after a whole weekend of magic, I would be done with magic stuff. But I'm excited, because tomorrow is the pre-pre-release for Magic 2019, which looks to be the best core set. Uh, well, it's our first core set in like four years, but also the best one in a long, long time. Let's do that one too. Because that is this front thing here, right? Yeah, that looks like the front. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go into colorize again. Probably getting a pattern figured out. There we go. There we go. We're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. Okay. I think... Okay, that gives me an idea. Let's go here. Actually, you know what, looking at this, I don't know if we have to do his uh, vehicle mode. I mean, a lot of Digibashes don't even use the vehicle mode. Um, To, oh, right, right, right. We're not going to do that because we're also going to deselect this whole chunk. There we go. And this whole chunk. Because I have an idea. I have an idea. Just trust me on this. There's an idea, and I have it. All right, colorize. Nope, wrong one. Nope, try again. That's too green. There we go. And now for where this gets weird. Uh, we kind of got to go in with the brush. Kind of 
clean up edges there. Which again, not perfect. Nobody is. But eh, doing the best we can with the tools we are given and our lack of skill. All right. Alrighty, so. As for what am I doing right now, I think the answer is obvious. Going around the rest of the gun, because if you remember, on Senator Shockwave's little arm bladies, he had white with red edges. I'm going to create that same effect here with the arm cannon. Uh, in fact, now that I'm looking at it, I realize that I had it right the first time. It's just the angle made it look weird. All right. This takes a very long time. So we're almost there. I say we're almost there. We have to do the other leg, and we have to do the, sorry, the other arm and the legs, and then we're done. And then we have Senator Shockwave. Uh, and I'm actually going to throw out the vehicle mode. <laughs> we're going to separate the layers when we get to that. In fact, hold up. Exactly what I'm going to do right now. We are going to take our lasso tool. Boop. We're going to cut him, paste him to a new layer, make him go invisible. There we go. So now when we make everything else go invisible, Ratchet, Ratchet Wave, Senator Shockwave is just going to chill in here. Which is fine. That's fine. He doesn't have much to do. He's a senator. All right. Uh, so let's see. Let's get that arm. Yeah, I was changing the layer selection again. Because uh, I forgot to change it back. I'm not great at that. But I'm getting better. That's the important part. I think when we're all done, I'm going to actually post this up on the Twoters. So people can see it. Even though it's not great. Uh, I'm proud of what we're doing here today. I know a lot of people who can't say they're proud of their jobs. Considering right now, Twitch is kind of my job. I'm proud of it, even if we're not making enough. 
I gotta find something. But oh well. Right now, my job is turning Shockwave into the version of him from the comics that doesn't exist in standard continuity. Yep. 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 Definitely not. Where did that one come from? Yep. I'm missing one. No, it's in here. Definitely not. Uh-uh. Fourth from the bottom, nope. Nope. There it is. Okay. Okay, so from the look of it, above the hips is white, and so white, white, blue, blue, his feet are white and, he has Gundam feet, but we're just gonna make the feet blue, I think. Yeah. Yeah, or we can make them white, I guess. Yeah, we might go with white. We'll go with white. All right. So we need to do white crotch, white upper legs. All righty, we can do that. Uh, do the white crotch first. Kind of got a ballpark it is the problem. I just said the word ballpark while looking at a robot's crotch. Oh boy. Why did you go to college, Robert? So I could Photoshop a robot's crotch into the colors it should be. Apparently. I'm a master's degree. And yet I would much rather be doing this than the job my master's degree prepared me for. And if that doesn't describe me, then I don't know what does. I think I'd rather make sure that a robot looks good than the job that millions of other people would actually like to have. You know what? I'm not millions of other people. I'm me. And this is the job I would like to have. So, you know, shilling a little bit. But I am an affiliate. You could, uh, look me up there. Of course, since YouTube's going to be watching this later, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Alright. Let's colorize those. Ooh. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. Do I need to go over it twice? I would, oh, you know what? Hold up, let's do this. Yeah, 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 okay. Make it black. And then, make it white, no. No, bring up the light, no, definitely not. See, this is the problem. Uh, no matter what you do, you're going to end up, uh, let's do this, lightness, saturation down, I don't think we can make his, uh, legs the right color, so, we're gonna go with the blue instead, and the red looks nice, but, let's go with the blue instead, just because the white's not working. The blue looks fine. The blue looks okay. It looks like a blue Hasbro would use. It looks weird to have this character have a Decepticon symbol, but oh well. Alright. Um, now we're gonna zoom in. I know it looks weird, 
but I mean that's what he has in the comics, so like that's just what it is. What I really want to do. I want to do like a new playthrough of Fallout 4. I've never finished Fallout 4. Like, like here's the thing. If you're watching me, you are not going to be watching this for, you know, high quality gameplay footage. Y'all, y'all who follow me know already. I'm going to do something fun. At least I'll try. Uh, okay. Of course, you know, the most fun part is when those two join me. So, there we are. And yeah, not all the colors match. We're dealing with Hasbro here. And by that I mean that's my excuse. If I blame Hasbro, I'll feel better about myself. Oh, that works. Um, hmm. I am actually really digging uh, the way that looks. But, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go boop. I'm going to go like this. Gonna get rid of his head. Go like this. And turn the head back on, and bam! Look, he's so much better now. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I guess that only leaves his legs, and then we'll be done. All right. Uh, problem I'm running into with the legs is I know these things are going to be a headache. So we're going to cheat a little bit. We're not. Well, we're going to try to use white on the lower leg. Because you know what? I personally think it would look better. Uh, actually, no. We're going to use blue. We're going to make that silver part white, and we're going to make his little tippy toes there red. And it's not going to be 100% accurate. Um, that's the other thing. If you read the comics, you know that the red, white, and blue was not always Senator Shockwave's colors. He was red, blue, and green for a while. Um, but as Red keeps saying, they keep changing the color scheme and his design. So, there's a lot of different ways that he can look. Uh, and I'm going to kind of take advantage of that fact. As for why he turned purple, I have no idea. I guess that's just the color of bad guys. It makes me feel bad about the Purple Man of Podcast, but here we are. Alright, so now new plan, we're gonna go here. Oop, we're gonna go here. Go like this. We're gonna make this whole chunk white. Because this is already a paint app. We know Hasbro is willing to paint this particular chunk of leg. That's too dark. I'll do it. We're going to go down to here. We're going to grab the right tool, because I keep not grabbing the right tool. I am a tool. No, that's not right. I stop putting myself down.
All right, boop, 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 and select, colorize, red we just used, there we go. Ooh, we're almost there. Exciting. All righty. Now, of course, if you have uh, the new image manipulation program, or GIMP, as it is often called, though apparently that makes a lot of people mad, because it is a kind of a slur for disabled people. It's not where my brain goes. I go to the other term, which is also inappropriate, but whatever. If you have that on, you know, on your computer, it is free. Uh, if you're using this to make comics, what's wrong with you? That's what Inkscape and Fire Alpaca are for. But, eh, you do you. If you're using it for image manipulation, which is what I'm doing here, good, that's what the program's for. Um, you can get it for free, grab a picture off of TF Wiki, and try this yourself. It's, it's time-consuming. It's very comforting, I find. Uh, it gives you something to do and uh, a way to kind of escape your brain for a little bit uh, to, an ex to a similar extent of how Minecraft is for some people. And I'll be honest, I did Minecraft a little bit earlier today uh, on my own after watching Serge Jaeger stream some vanilla Minecraft. Got to meet him at GP Vegas. Really nice dude. Uh... And, like, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to hang out with him more. He had stuff to do. I didn't want to bother him. Um, of course, he did say I was a cool dude in his chat earlier, so I feel better about myself as a person. Um, I should have that somewhere on the page. Here, somewhere on this page. Called A Cool Dude by Sir Jaeger. Then he'll come in and slap me with a cease and desist, because that was not an endorsement. I don't know. No, really, really nice guy. If uh, you want another good Twitch streamer to follow and you want somebody chill, uh, go, go with Surge. Well, all right, everyone. Look at that. That is uh, Senator Shockwave, if I've ever seen him. Um, I think the best way to test this is to call Red in here. Uh, Red seems to be sleeping, so I will show Red later. I will put this up on Twitter. Thank you for joining me as we made a Digibash on stream. Um, I think it came out okay. Could it have been better? Yes. It's a little rushed. I'm seeing a few flaws I left here and there. But I think it looks good. And I'm actually going to send it to one of the bigger Digibashers out there and see what they think. This is maybe my fifth one overall. And this will be the first one I actually publish. I'm kind of happy with it. Uh, later, I'm thinking we might do that messing with the console commands uh, Fallout 4 stream. Because I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. And apparently, my phone went off a bunch while I was cooking, and I never noticed. Oh well. Well, thank you for joining me. Talk to you later. Enjoy Senator Shockwave there. I think he came out okay. Why did my Twitch thing move all the way up there you're supposed to be like down here buddy what are you doing you were there this whole time why were you doing that anyway thank you for watching follow if you like it uh sub if you can if you're on youtube and it's the future uh tell me how those flying cars are and then like comment and subscribe and we will catch you all later